Hello guys and welcome to a short tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go ahead and install the Unity Hub and we're going to go ahead and also install an editor and an IDE for scripting. So I just want to do like a one full video that covers everything at least to get started with uh, Unity in Linux and we'll be using Ubuntu 18.10. Uh, right? So the first thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and download the hub for Linux and um, that should install and you can open that up. All right, give me a second. Just realized that my uh, download has so much trash in there. All right, so once you get this file, if you double click on it, uh, nothing will really happen. Uh, it will say if you want to find an application to open it with, uh, hit no. Uh, what you want to do is you want to right click on the file, go to properties, and go to permissions, and check this. Alright, now if you double click on it, uh, it should go ahead and ask you uh, to read the license agreement and agree. Obviously nobody ever reads this stuff, so I'll just hit agree. And it says, uh, would you like to integrate home downloads? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, if you go ahead and you double click on this again, um, nothing really happened. It's supposed to go ahead and open up the, uh, the hub. If you go ahead and you search for the hub, the image should show up. So if you type in a uh, unity hub, you're going to get a unity hub image under your uh, app settings, all right? So you should have that up. But if you double click on that too, it won't load. So what we need to do is, we need to open this in terminal and we need to run this. So we're gonna do a Unity and hit tap and this should bring up the, uh, the setup image. Hit enter and then you will see that there are certain, certain libraries that are required to actually start this application. So. On my computer, I only need one, all right? The reason why I'm showing you guys this is because it might differ for you, and so you would need to get that specific package installed. So um, what we can do is we could copy this and we could paste this on the web, right? So let's, uh, let's search this up, and then we can probably find a specific package for this. All right, so let's go here. Okay, so this is the uh, the package that we're looking for, right? So we can just go ahead here and get this and copy it. And we can head back to the terminal. And just install it. Just uh, paste the uh, package name, not that. Then hit enter, and then they should go ahead and um, download that package. Okay, so once you have that done, you can just go down to that image, and if you double click on it, then the Unity Hub should load, and it should get your 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 hub up and running. I'm gonna pause this real quick. I'm gonna log in, and then we can set up an image. All right. So once you've logged in, obviously you should get the uh, license management screen. Obviously, we want to get the Unity Personal. If you have the Pro, set that up, and <clears throat> we will not be using this in any professional capacity. So. I'm gonna click that. All right, so we go to install now, <clears throat> and what we can do is just go to the either the beta or the official release, which is gonna be in experimental mode for Linux users. The beta has issues, and um, we will not be installing this today. If you want to try it out, it's up to you. You can go to the uh, Unity forums and uh, look at the issues that people are having with the beta and see how you can fix those. Um, I decided that I'm just gonna go with the 2018.3. So 
So all you have to do is just hit the download button here and uh, pick the package that you want and then that would install. So I'm just going to get Android support and I'll do web. No, I'll just do Android support and iOS support for now. And what? I don't need iOS support. Um, just once you're done with this, just hit um, just hit done and you can always come back and reinstall a package if you need it by just coming once we I'll show you guys how to do that if you want to add a package and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and come back because this is gonna take some time so uh, I'll be back alright so once the editor is done downloading uh, it should be set as you preferred because it's the only one that you have you can install as many as you want so I said I'll show you guys how to add components. All you have to just do is click here and you can add a new component and you can pick a new package. All right. I just don't want to clog up my system with things that I don't need. All right, so once we're done, we can go to project and uh, we can create a new project. And let's just call this one um, test project. And yeah, we're good to go. Let's uh, create that project. It's like every time I want to record, planes just have to go over my house. I hate when I record and I hear the plane noises. All right, wrong screen. All right, so once we um, you know, set up our project, we should have the regular old Unity uh, single folder scene. Um, the thing here is if we go ahead and let's uh, create a folder for scripts and we create a script, uh, call this test. And if we open it, uh, it should open by default to uh, git edits, uh, uh, default uh, editor here. Um, the thing is that if you want to use this, this, this is fine. The problem is that if you want to, you know, start refactoring and working with packages, this becomes a nightmare. So we need to go ahead and set up an, an IDE. Uh, in my case, I'm going to go ahead and set up uh, IntelliJ Writer. Uh, you can you can pick an IDE that you guys want to use. You guys don't want to use this, All right? This is the last setup for me. So let's go on the internet and let's go ahead and download IntelliJ Writer all right and let's download it for Linux all oh, by default it should be on Linux okay so hit the download button and let me just save it Sometimes when you open this up with the archive manager, uh, what it does is that it it uh, gives you a, du a duplicate folder. It will give you like a writer folder and another writer folder, and I don't like that. So I'm gonna try to open it up and just use a single uh, layer folder. All right, let's wait for this to finish downloading. And in the meantime, I guess we can we can open up our. Uh, you have to set this in home. I guess you can create a folder to set it up, or you could just copy and drag it here. Doesn't matter. Or you can put it wherever you want. You just have to remember where you keep it. So this is done downloading, and. I'm gonna go ahead here. Let me see. Oh, okay. So this time it didn't do that. So what I'm gonna do here is just drag this and drop it in the home directory. And we're good. All right, so if we go into the folder and we go into the bin folder, we should be open up, we should be able to just open up the terminal here and type in the uh, open the writer 
uh, IDE by typing in the by the, uh, running the uh, writer.c file. It just the initial setup should come up, and you can just do that. So obviously, this is a new install um, because I this is actually a fresh image that I, I installed yesterday night. So we're gonna go ahead and not import anything. We're going to go ahead and um, accept the license agreement and hit continue because we're not going to read that. Uh, do you want to share statistics? Yeah, why not? All right, and you should get our regular old setup screen. I'm going to go with the dark theme. I like to save my eyes. And I'll keep the reshaper and default uh, key map. Uh, also, a product could uh, check the super users for other users, just in case I want to have my brother work on some projects on his uh, account. Um, looks fine to me, and I'm gonna need these two. All right, and you can just hit finish setup and this will require your password so I'll put in your password all right uh, you don't need this screen I have a JetBrains account so I'm gonna go ahead and um, uh, pause this and put my account in all right all right so once you set up your account it should bring it up to the regular um, writer create a project screen. Obviously, we don't really need this. Uh, you can also, you know, just go here and configure a few things if you want to install some plugins and whatnot, but you can always find this inside of the settings. So let's close this out. And let's go into uh, Unity. So what we need to do is we need to go to the edit and go into our preferences. And let me Pull that here, and then we need to go to external tools. Why is this so small? I'm trying to make it bigger, but it just doesn't seem to get bigger. Okay. All right. So what we need to do is go over here. We need to browse, and we need to go into our home directory, into the Rider folder bin and we want to pick the writer she script and we want to open that all right and this is all that's really required to set up uh, an IDE in Linux you just need to run the executable file that I mean the file that you normally use to run the start the executable <clears throat> we can close that down all right so this is still under experimental so that means that it's still buggy uh, it might not work 100% of the time. Um, even the regular input um, doesn't work for the arrow keys, so you have to use the W, A, uh, D, uh, S keys just to move around. Um, and sometimes the scripts take a little bit of time to load, but it's better to at least have the IDE in an environment that you normally would use regularly than not to. Uh, if I want to go ahead and test things, uh, the newer things in 2019 beta, I just go into Windows, um, but I use Linux almost all the time. Anyway, if you double click on the test script, it should open up a project. It should open up a writer, and it just does it on, on my other screen. All right, and we could test this out by doing a, well, start by running up, we do a debug. Log. Welcome to Rider. Okay, and uh, we can save all and should let it load. As you can see, like I said, it takes a little bit of time to actually load sometimes, especially when you just set it up. And I'm gonna take a little bit of time to load, and there you go. And you can drag and drop the script on the light, 
and just hit the run button. And then we should get welcome to rider. Um, your your rider settings should be under. Uh, if, if you go back to home, and if you uh, go ahead and hit the Control H key, uh, there should be a, a rider uh, settings configurations here that you can config to your liking. Uh, if you want to change things in here, it's up to you. Or if you want to go ahead and save it and reuse it later on in another ID in another system, uh, you can find it here. All right. And if you want to go ahead and save it, just uh, go ahead and hit Control H again, and it hides everything. All right, guys, this will be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumb up. If you guys have any other requests, let me know. Um, if I have a time, I'll take care of it. If I don't, I will probably post a comment saying I can't. All right. Okay, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.